Hopefully. Hopefully the chat will work this time. I don't see my ugly face. <laughs> how Mate, your face is way sexier than mine. Oh, hell no. You are like, your face. It's like, hell no. Hot AF, bro. <laughs> the chat is being weird again. Oh, no, I've got to hide all that. And then I'll go live. I might do that. I've got an idea. I've got an idea so people can watch you. I'm going to do this. Put it below. Put the bottle there so people can look at the brake fluid at the same time. There we go. Look at that. Fucking hell. Who would have thunk? And I'll do that. People funk? Oh, we get a thumbs up. Oh, uh, cool. I apologise for the brake fluid bottle, people. Anyway, I can prop the phone up. Oh, I'm going to move it a little bit. Maybe if I do that. Hey, look at that. Can't see it now. Wide angle, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, at the moment we are pulling the... Well, we're going to disagree with the name of this arm again. Putting the fancy arm out the front end. <laughs> we'll call it the fancy arm. Um, Another thing I thought, I thought the guitar arm. The guitar arm? We can do some air guitar with it. <laughs> oh, I saw something pop up on the chat then. Turka, how you doing, bud? Oh. So I'm having problems with the chat not actually showing up on the screen. So hopefully it stays there. Apparently it doesn't want to stay up though. It's gonna be a struggle. Dirty GQ, how you doing man? Oh, you breaking shit again. Yeah, if I do that. Nope. Are you breaking shit? Nah, never. <laughs> you got a dangly bit. That's a big dangly bit. Jaw dangly, dangly bit. Oh. Mate, don't show that to all the girls. <laughs> I'll pick the phone up here, I think. Uh, at this point. At least I can rest my shoulder. Come 
on. Stay off on the screen, you stupid chap. Stupid. Oh, I'll randomly check the chat, guys, as we go. So if I don't reply to you straight away, it's because it's a technical issue. Technically, crap. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Definitely annoying. It flashes up on the screen and disappears again. If I do that. Nope. Come on. No, won't permanently stay up there. So what stops the car from rolling when you take these out? Like the axle shifting its orientation? Uh, fuel luck. <laughs> Not with fuel luck. <laughs> Was it just like the uh, the shocks and that? Shocks and springs? Everything that's holding it together now is, will be holding it together. The combination of the sway bar, uh, drag link, relay rod, shocks, peanut rod, everything that's Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I didn't think about pan hard, did I? So I may cock a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, we got a we got a uh, hoist, hoist jack here to rotate it around if we need to. So. Whoa! I saw it shift then. Yeah, handy, all right. So far, so good. Can I zoom? What? <laughs> Crap! No, I can zoom. That's going to be very clear though. Mm. Oh god. Don't see my ugly double chin. Holy. What's going on here? Why, why, why is it why is it zooming and doing some weird stuff? I don't know. Just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm ah, it's going all strange, people. You know how to? There we go. Yeah, all right. I do not know what it's doing. I have a chat message there, I can't see it. Hold on a minute. Give me a second. Oh, we'll answer you. What brand of stuff is going on? What brand? Um, we're just chucking some Pedders caster correction bushes in. Nothing, not replacing arms as such, are we? No, uh, not yet. Not yet. That's later on. When I've got about four and a half grand to play with, it will get a superior kit in it. Then I can become a flexi boy. <laughs> Show a few spots. I don't know why the uh, why before. Oh man, let me let me try something. So that brought up the chat then. Oh, you're not aware. Hold on, I'm gonna try something, guys. Give me a sec. Yeah, see the chat's coming up now. Nope. What time is he closing the workshop? <laughs> oh! What time are you closing the workshop? Uh, when the time comes. There we go. There's your answer. <laughs> when the time comes, that's So yeah, this definitely hasn't had caster correction done because we're in the factory central position. So we'll fix that up and uh, then we'll wheel line her and see how she goes. So. Turka laughed at you. Ah. Turka laughed at you. He said, ha ha ha. <laughs> this, is how, this is how it goes with us though, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, that hasn't been too hard so far. What, what do we pull that one night? It was like 
12.30 in the morning or something. What, what were we doing? Do you remember? On the 90. I can't remember what it was on the 90. Could have been your lower arms? Yeah, it was an alignment on the... Yeah, it was the lower control arms, and then we were trying to get it to align. Yeah. That took a while. All right, so now we're going into the uh, machine shop. Got the press room. Play with the guitar bushes. Yeah, see, it is. You know, shred. What are you going to play? Like, you know, like Wild Stallions? Like Bill and Ted? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we chucking in it? Show us. Show us. Well, these are the rear bushes. Oh, yeah. So, you know, the voids. Oh, yeah. As in, the gap. They pull out the bush to flex a little bit. Yep. And note them in the car here, straight up and down. Yep. Oh yeah. And these are the front ones, which are offset. Which increases your caster. And they even give you a diagram. Yeah, can I show you how far the distance has to be to press them in here? Yeah? Pretty well. All right, there you so go. Like, this lovely printout. Yeah, you see Lean Cruiser. You can actually, it's a template, so you can actually put the control arm on there, lay it out, and there's your, there's your there bushes. Goes. So that's just for a two inch? Or just so a it's, cast? Or it's just the cast the cross. about two and a half degrees. Okay, all right, there you go. Improvement from my way. Yep, it'll track a lot nicer. It'll Ooh, return yeah. to center a bit better. Oh yeah. But we did notice the uh, steering dampener is the original factory one. It's a bit old. <laughs> That'll get changed and upgraded at some point. Yep. If you've got a lot of background noise here, guys, it is raining at the moment, so... That and the compressor cycling because of a hole in the line. And general noises. And random bottles of Coke laying around the place. It's a drink everywhere, Randy. I guess you'd never go thirsty at Petters. No, <laughs> Is. Rip ears, everyone. <laughs> I'm sure that hurt. Holy crap, that is such something just lets go, eh? I told you it was gonna be loud. Yeah, no kidding.
You going to do all this on your rig? Not looking forward? <laughs> yeah, man. It's a. Uh, it's fun. That's for sure. What's it doing? Not squaring up. Nah, this one's gonna be loud too. All right, I'm backing up <laughs> so I don't kill my ears. Block the ear, everyone. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. That was loud like that first one, holy crap. We got a 25 ton press. How yep. shaggy are those bushes? Can you see it from when you look uh, at them? Or not really? I just a little bit there. Slight tear in the bush up the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can actually see the age of the bush. It's all fracturing around there. There you go, it's pretty old. Yeah, you can see more prominent on the back with a little bit of stressing on it. Yeah. Mm. Mainly around the, uh, where the cross stream there is, the, the laminating. Yep. All right, cool. So I'll move this lovely little broom. That was easy, 25 ton press. Yep. <laughs> Did it struggle? No, not so much. No, not really. Do you clean up the inside of the uh, arm before you press them in, or you just kind of leave it and just send it? Oh, I'll give it a look over first. They're generally pretty good for pretty much most of their life. Yeah. Looks pretty clean in there anyway. Yeah. You just may see the stress marks and yeah. Yeah. as it's been spinning in there. It's been uh, definitely sitting in there. So at the moment we're just lining it up on the um, template. Yeah. Let me grab me right. You need a light. Don't need points to straight down. And we just send it home, yeah? Pretty much. Pretty much do. Send it, Stephen. Going in like butter, mate. Yeah. That's just to get it started. Yep. And then we just line up the other one and do them both, I guess. Usually yeah. better if I just uh, load out me here more. Yep. Get a nice little flap up the way. Yep. Uh, so actually got a measurement there between the center of the center of the bushes. So I'll uh, double check and confirm that. What are you confirming? Am I going to grab my drink while we're waiting? 
because I'm thirsty. I'm a thirsty boy. You're thirsty. I'm a thirsty boy. I'm gonna grab my drink. Give me a sec, guys. We'll go back around there. He's grabbing his measuring stick. I don't think I'm gonna be able to undo the lid on this with this dodgy shoulder of mine, but. We'll see. Oh no, I can undo that. Hell yeah. Look at you. Oh, all right. Um, put the lid there for a moment. One's generally straight down, one's generally straight up. Yep. Those are only five mil from center to center. Those are only five mil. Yep. Looks like it to me. We will do it as per template. Can we send it to Stephen again? Get started, get started. You might be able to push it the whole way like this though. You might, you might be able to. Might not, I won't oh. be able to. Right. That's just a, as that edge sticks out a bit of course. Ah, okay. I'm sure you have a special tool for that, do you? No, not a special tool yet. Nope. <laughs> Slop it in there. It again. I could do. Looks pretty well good to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I bought it. Should be right, love. Look at that. Smack bang. That's where I like it. So, what special tool you use now? I'm more or less just get the, that, that uh, piece under there. You guys enjoy these live streams, the little tech stuff? If you do, let me know. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll do more of them. Out the rear one, and then it'll be a rinse repeat for the other side. Pretty well. Then, pretty much, what you just obviously just bolt it in, and it's cast as corrected. And it's just a matter of just doing the alignment, I guess. Eight thirty, bro. Eight thirty. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good cool. And you pick up on some stuff. All right. As long as you guys are learning, and it gives you some idea of what you're up for for your vehicle, especially your live axle stuff. Um, then yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. But 
I said there will be more 90 series stuff coming up on his car. Um, we haven't really put your car up on the channel yet, have we? No, I don't think so. No, yeah. it's pretty standard. Until he put that five inch lift in it, and it was absolutely horrible to drive. <laughs> he went, so he, can... yeah, but you went sensible after that, though. No, take the front side drive, should be right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't lost the CD yet. Yeah, man, you came close, though. Once or twice. And hey, you popped your rear, rear sway bar link because of that, didn't you? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, that one. I'm still contemplating whether I, I reckon I might still do that development on those lower control arms. Now that I'm technically not working, because I can't, you want to play with your car with it? Don't see why not. Though I might convince you to actually go 33s. <laughs> I uh, think I'll do my diffs first. No, you do your diffs like ice. Uh, oh, I was going to go too high with 31s on it. This one might be loud too. Be a loud banger. Alright, watch your ears, guys. Rip headphone users in a minute. <laughs> Might not like this piece. Yeah. No? I'm going to push it out a little bit. Okay. Maybe one little bit thinner. It came out. It's probably out the other side. Or you're changing it, are you? Yeah. Something is up thinner. Let's go over to my bad arm. Give my good arm a rest so I can have a drink. Now I am starting to get low on battery, guys. I'm at 36%. I tried charging it when we had dinner. Didn't really do much. Should have probably brought my power pack with me. What are you struggling with, mate? Oh, just get the right size bit for the right. Just get that really big one up top there, in the oh, middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, just yeah. send it with that. Yeah, you're funny. <laughs> it's so funny to put it to last. Ha ha ha! Yeah. So this is the side that people don't get to see of me, which is more or less my off camera. Being stupid side. Don't worry, you'll see it more in uh, more trips when, when the trips come. So I'm probably about six months off of doing a trip though. So, mate, there's going to be some summer camping, which means we can't have a fire. Yeah, I suppose. Which kind of sucks. Chuck in the grinder. Oh yeah. Just take a lip off it if, it's, if you think it's a bit too. That's all right. This one should stay better. <laughs> when will I be coming to Victoria? Probably next year at this rate. Or I got to get my redemption, mate, in the high country. Not letting some dude that run me off the road beat me. By well, that time, you'll be coming with me too, dude. Yeah, I'll probably be more set up by then. Yep. I'll sort out your 12 volt system stuff if you want. Yeah. Holy crap. Wow. Rip is. Holy shit. That just popped. 
Man, I mean some pressure on that. What fell off? Oh, that come out. Yeah. <laughs> How bad is that bush? Uh, a few stresses, more or less age wear on this one. It's probably the, what you reckon is the, origin, the uh, original bush? Edge. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it is, yeah. See the genuine number written there. Hmm. There you go. Original bushes from the 80, 26 years old. Last about as long as me. I know. And as before, the boards go straight up and down. Yep. So what happens if you put them in the wrong way? Tear the bush. Premature wear. Tear the bush as well. Can you get premature wear that way? Not playing properly. We could ask the questions. So That's you it. guys get some answers. So there you go. Put press your bushes in the way they came out, mate. Is that right? Pretty well. If it went out that way, it goes in that way. You might just start it like this first. <laughs> it's going to drive like a different car, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do to the 80s, guys. i do all the rear, rear, upper, and lower trailing arm bushes. Hey, mine are still flogged. What? My, rear, my trailing arm bushes are still flogged out. Are they? Probably under a few tricks with them, this should be right. Yeah. No, I'm gonna get it sorted. Good game putting your hand in there, mate. I know. I know. I'll be right back. BRB, all right. I'll flick around and have a chat to you guys. Yeah, so, blocking the camera. There we go. God, I look horrible without a beard. So, yeah. Need to do upper and lower trailing arm bushes. Uh, what else do I need to do? Mm, uni joints. All four uni joints need to be done. They're flogged. That's a lot of my backlash problem, so. I get done as well. What does my mate drive? He drives a 90 series. Go and check him out, it's A Pods, if he will accept you. Are you on private on Insta or not? Yeah, I'm private. Are you? Yeah. You've got to. Jealous of uh, Russian people had me, trying to add me on the old yeah. Insta. Should I, tell him you, should, should I tell him your Insta? You get a whole lot of other people. Well, you already pretty much said it then, so. I didn't really. <laughs> Just about. But he's got a uh, he's got a appliance white 90 series. <laughs> the pearl white, apparently. Yeah, it is pearl. Yeah, it's pearl white 90. That's all that stuff come up beside. Just the edge of the bushing. Nice fresh bush going nice and tight into the housing. Happy with that? Oh, too far. Turk says that's the way. 
because you drive a 90. Yeah, she's quite mighty. Vespa, how you doing, bud? I see, I see messages flash up, but they don't stay on the screen. Which is kind of annoying. But, one's done. Well, you can put it in, are you? Yep. Alright, go for a wander, guys. So there's the old girl. The old girl. She's in quite good nick, actually. For, for her age. What do I do with you? What do I do with your light? Do we take it around there? Yeah, dude. Huh? Yeah, dude. Uh, okay. Well, too far for me to go now. Oh, well. I'm not going to put it right in. It's going to sit right here. Yeah. Actually, you know what I can do? What's that? I saw something on here earlier. Can you turn the flash that, on? That I can turn the flash on. Oh, that's going to freaking blow on me. Where is it though? Maybe. I can't see it. No. No. Maybe not. Who knows? I saw it. It's lying to me. It's telling fibs. I must be the stalker with the camera. What are you doing? Uh, oh, you're gonna, oh, you're doing that one now, are we? Yeah. Oh, okay, you're, you're just hanging it up there, were you? The next guitar, wouldn't um, you? So, what song are you playing, mate? Uh, Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven? I mean, you could have just picked something like Metallica, not freaking the song that's played in every guitar store and <laughs> throughout the freaking world. <laughs> oh, Metallica. Mm, nah. No? Nah? So did you listen to that um, link I sent you from Anthony Vincent that did that, that uh, Wherever I May Roam cover? Probably did. But it was like, it was like new, like, it was like Gent Metallica? Uh, yeah. That's... Did you listen to it? Yeah, that was, that was good. That was pretty good. It was a good, good track. Yeah. Didn't mind it. I've been listening to a lot of Triple J lately. Teenage Jones? You've been listening to Teenage Jones? You heard of the Teenage Jones? Maybe. They, they play them all the time. They're Adelaide. It's going to be loud. It's going to be a bang. Go run, watch your ears. Maybe. That's going to a weird angle. Back here, it's, it's gonna go bang. I can see the angle of the uh, angle of the dangle. You're not quite liking it. Is that no. some stuff? Well, both you flip the arm, yeah. do it from the other side. Could do, could do. They get you more on the edge, then you'd better kind of line it up. Let me jump that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's going on a weird angle on the other end. It was strange. What's my battery power at? 27% or I'm getting low, guys. I reckon we'll press in these, these bushes here and then I'll uh, end the string because it's really 
anything we'll be doing after that is just fitting them back up and then chucking on the aligner. Pretty much. So, until he orders me some uh, whole heap of other parts, I'm not going to pay for these yet, which I haven't done yet. Have I got like an account or something, do I? Uh, cash more, account, yeah. A cash account, more or less. Pretty well. Should I set up a proper one? If you want, no, no. <laughs> Bloody hell. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Jeez. Charge it to your Capricorn. So it's just air leak kind of stuff screwing around with the uh, press as well, not really? Mm, probably is. I'm not delivering as much pressure as it should. But. You're going all, am I going all out with it like you've done with a 90? Yeah, I will be. 100%. That's, uh, that's not out of the question at all. Um, it's just going to take a little bit to get that done. Remember, got to remember the 90 was a two and a half year build. Good things take so long. Yep. Because Anthony here was the one that helped me build the 90. Put a lot of hours into that. Only for the past year, really. Hey? Well, that's for the past year, really. Yeah, but also, what? Well, yeah, but what I do for prior to that, not really a whole lot. No, uh, you. I had. Bar, your, uh, uh, well, bull bar, bull bar, I did was the first thing I did. Yeah. Snorkel. Yeah, I snorkel I did before you. I think you just had the upper control ons in too. Yeah, how long? Yeah, one long. Maybe three months on the upper control arms. It's alright. Yeah, Turk's got the bull bar now. I don't know if it's going to get it repaired. I heard you're going to get that. What's the first model for the 80? This? Caster correction? <laughs> the 80 is pretty well modded. When we, get, when we get back out there with this arm, I'll, I'll show you. Um, What's on it already? Oh, my ears! <laughs> Don't be deaf tonight. Gives you a bit of a ring-a-ding-ding -ding in the ear. It does. I'm going to be deaf, deaf tomorrow. Deaf and sore. Sore from physio and deaf from this. <laughs> so Turk, have you got the bull bar fixed yet? Or are you still getting all that work done to it? That was a loud one. Uh, as far as yeah, getting it fixed soon, but okay, cool, no worries. Surprised you're fixing that. Hey, uh, when I saw that, 
um, when I checked the car out and I had to get the photos for insurance, I was like, that's pretty rooted, man. And you're getting it fixed, so that's some dedication there. I heard you're getting it done pretty cheap. So, um, that's what Dirty GQ told me anyway. So, hey man, for the price you pay for that bull bar and, and what he's getting done, it's going to be way cheaper than buying a new bull bar. Oh, yeah. So, Especially if it's done nicely. Done yeah, properly. I'll be keen to see the, the uh, before and after if you're taking photos. So, did the spotlights work? I'm curious. I don't know, because I know you wouldn't have got the wiring with it either, so. The other thing I forgot to mention on that car, and I don't know if anyone grabbed it, is that with those headlights I had a LED kit installed in that. Like a really good kit too. You got your bull bar for a seal too, trade it for your factory alloy one. Okay, nice. Traded it for a factory alloy bar for a steel bar. That's a that's a strange one. Any reason why you would go that way? I guess is it winch compatible, Jasper, or not? Yeah. All right, so we're going to start up this one here. TJM bar. Okay. You realise the TJM bars require a, a cradle, yeah? You did get that with it? Because I know the cradle's about an extra 200 bucks. Oh, no cradle. That's alright. Well, if you've got no cradle anyway, like, cradle's only about 200, 250 bucks from TJM, so... Um, if you did a straight swap on it, you're out in front anyway, really. How's that? The guy got got the TJM bar for his for his missus, and she didn't like the look of it and wanted the factory bar, so he did a straight swap. Fair enough. Oh, can't complain. Yeah, no, I wasn't complaining. Enough. Where's your bull bar, mate? <laughs> Got in your house. <laughs> mate, he's going there first, mate. <laughs> Then you're gonna go full send on the 90? Maybe. Are you gonna are you gonna build up as a tour or what? You gonna do what I did with a tank? I reckon you should. The name? Yeah, that range on that night on my 90 on 31s was like 1500 k's. Yeah, not surprising. It was 212 liters though. Surprised no one grabbed that uh, that long range tank. That was a freaking mission of a job that too. Oh, it turned out to be. Remember that? Oh yeah. You had the bail. That day? Oh yeah, had a... Had to have Kirk. Kirky helped me finish that one off. Yeah, well, I had some sort of filming event on. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Birthday, I think. It was a Saturday, so... Checking the measurements. Where are we at? Did you nail it? Yep. Yep. Again. Okay. Look at this guy. This bloke's a this bloke's a whiz on the press, eh? Hey? I think I've done too many. Uh, a few too many. Welcome to everyone that's just joined. They're working on the 80 series tonight. I'm just doing a caster correction on it and a wheel alignment. But yeah, we did discover the uh, front wheel bearings were loose as well, so that's added to the time here, as always. The other steel was the 100 bucks for an ARB roof rack with awning. I don't know, it was only a 30 minute drive home. Not bad. ARB awning, eh? Nice. Is that it? We done with the press? Yeah. All right. So I'll run through the car with you guys. Oh, while I'm at it. Hey? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I'll go get the torch. All right. I'll go for a wander and come back. Give me a sec. I need a torch and you guys can uh, watch as well. Workshop streams. I wish I had my own workshop. If I had my own workshop, man, I'd be loving it. I don't think I'd be home. I think I'd have a bed there. <laughs> Just about. That's all you need. Uh, the amount of time we spend here. Yeah, so I'll quickly go over this with the guys. So so I have a safari snorkel that came with it. It has an ARB roof rack that came with it. ARB winch bar that came with it. Um, I don't know if I'll you be able to see. Probably not. No, can't get up there. It's got a it's got a worn winch. And we worked out it's got a Kofap two inch lift. <laughs> <laughs> what a name, Kofa. So some Brazilian brand. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, had a UHF and stuff inside it, but um, spares obviously still under the back here, so I'm gonna get a rear bar for it. Got tow bars, got the uh, Anderson plug for the rear for a camper trailer or something if I wanted to do that later on. I am getting another exhaust with it and it does have extractors um, on the old diesel. So. So I'll be doing all that. Here we go, now he's moving stuff. Do you need me to pry? No. Sure? I think. I've still got one good arm. I can film and pry with my good arm. Film with my bad arm, pry with my good arm. Hey? Probably see like one hand. <laughs> You sure you don't need a hand? I'll put this down here. I'll give you a hand. You know I'll give you a hand. I, I could just make it easy and use, use something that this toy already comes with a jack. Well, yeah. That would work, hey? I'll probably just do that. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I smashed everyone into the ground. How's the 80 compared to the 90 when it comes to working on it? What do you reckon? Because you, you've done a lot of work on it, so... Everything's just put in place, no matter what, which, whichever vehicle, really. They're both put, everything's in a good place. Everything's easy to get to. Yep. Some things are a little bit more tricky than others. Um, more, more technical, I guess, than the, in some points, like a lot at the front. Oh, yeah, fun. live axle is a lot more technical than a than a IFS vehicle for sure. Serviceability so was I mean, so it's always basic for four wheels blank or for the front end of the front end of the uh four wheel blank or for some reason. Yeah. Because it's a lot it's a bit cheaper to run. It's a bit cheaper on everything else. Compared to a ninety. What's that the eighty? Oh, 80, that's it. Yeah. yeah. What, 80's cheaper compared to a 90? Uh, probably the 90's a bit cheaper from what, I, from what I can see. There's less things that can go wrong, for starters. But... There's less, S less servicing things. though, what we find on here for, for grease points? I mean, this one we've got mainly just your tail shaft. Yep. Front and rear. And the steering stops. And that's it. That's pretty well it. And then like on the 90, you've got your... If you got them upper or your upper ball joints, lower ball joints, um, drive shaft, or your um, front and rear tail shafts, prop shafts, whatever you want to call them, um, and then your unis as well. Obviously, it's a sort of uni thing. We can't even get into the unis on this one, not on the rear one anyway. The front ones we can, but the rear ones, rear ones, original uni joint, I reckon. And you need some special tool to get in there, so they can change that anyway, so it doesn't matter. But. Yeah, that's on the list. So yeah, that'll be one of the next things we do. Because I've got a hell of a lot of drivetrain backlash and we worked out that it's not really the rear diff, even though the rear diff's kind of got a little bit in it, but it's being compounded by the uh, by the unis. Especially when you got all four of them have play. So, you sure you don't need a lever? Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. You rest, you rest. I'm rested, mate. I'll be resting for the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it, Even though I don't want to. 
no one likes to rest too long. It's pretty clean underneath, yeah. Like if I get under here, I'll, I'll quickly jump under. This has never been off road. Um, oh, I'm back. Because I'm, cause I'm resting. Like, obviously you could do with a bit of a wash, but you look at floor pan, especially back here, probably the easiest way to see it. But up in there, there's like, there's no corrosion on this floor pan at all. Drive shaft and stuff, yeah, obviously they're going to be, because they're kind of exposed, but this has never been off, done any serious off-roading. As much as I know it's been done as a, just a beach, so. Um, yeah, we'll have to get up under here and re-spray everything though, just so it doesn't get any corrosion. But um, yeah, it looks like a lot of the, a lot of the sound deadening and stuff under here is just chipped off over from 26 years. So, and you know, obviously chassis that's just dirt, that's just dirt, that's nothing. So chassis rails are rust free, not one bit of rust in the chassis, which is pretty awesome too. So, rear, rear suspension's pretty old. I've got to do diff breathers as well. That's my next mod, but one of my next mods as well. So, when I get there, and brake lines. So we discovered the uh, front brake lines have cracks in them. So, I'll get that organized. Are you winning yet? Yeah, it's all fun and for You got a bolt in yet or not? Not yet. What do you want to leave on? Give me something to leave on. Uh, yeah, but... uh... I just need these to go. Hopefully. 
Boy, what a struggle. We saw this battery sitting there, eh? Fifteen percent battery. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Jesus. Alright, I might call it there guys. Because oh, I might let, might let him do this one first. Get a bit of an idea, you can see it from here. Then I'll call it. Well, I'm gonna run out of phone battery. I've been trying to get this thing set up for my GoPro to live stream, but it won't connect to my account for some stupid reason. So let's try and figure that out. This is rolling the diff forward, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it gives you a lot more clearance between the wheel arches, unlike the old 90s, which don't have much clearance between the wheel arches. But this will allow me to run 35s, won't it? You run 35s and no lift, and just cast correction. Yeah. Well, cast correction from Yeah, but you're still going to be rubbing on flex, though, oh, yeah. with 35s. That. These are 32s, man. 35s would be monstrous. I'm yet to. Uh, I'm going to get my cousin's 35s and put them on and take some photos on a two inch. See how it looks. Never know. I might even keep the old factory steps yet. Let's see, my cousin still has his factory steps on his four inch and 35s. So he doesn't hit anything. You get that one in already, mate. Oh, look at this bloke. He's a machine. Yep. Cool. All right, I'm going to end it here, guys. Let's got that one in, so I'll uh, flip it around. Uh, welcome, everyone. All right, thanks, everyone, for watching. Much appreciated. Um, if you haven't done so, feel free to head over to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, because that always helps. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out any of the other live streams, um, yeah, I've got them in a playlist. This will go in that playlist as well. Um, as I do more mods, I'll do more videos. But yeah, if you like this type of um, video, they give you some sort of tech insight into what we're doing here, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, you have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, guys.